Ever been in love with somebody who is so beautiful and pure, you couldn't bear to show them your own darkness? That's how I feel about you. We grew up together in St. Mary's Orphanage. I guess I'm gonna have to tell you the truth about what kind of scumbag I really am. But what the hell am I gonna say?
11. believe this. Look, John Carlos spelled your name wrong again. <laughs> well, you gonna blow out the candles? Happy birthday, rat face. You're finally legal. I know you always piss and moan about your birthday, but I couldn't resist. I mean, you're only 21 once, right? Are you okay, babe? You're being kind of quiet. I got a real problem, Jenny. Something happened today with my Uncle Polly, and it's a real bad situation. Polly? What kind of situation? Okay. See, here's the thing. I was supposed to collect some money from my Uncle Polly downtown. Only the money wasn't there. And now Uncle Polly's kind of pissed at me. I'm sure it's gonna be okay. It's been like nine years since he took you home from the orphanage. Your Uncle Polly likes you, doesn't he? Jenny, baby, you don't get it. Uncle Polly isn't a teddy bear. He's a fucking psychopath. And he's gonna kill me. Kill you? What are you talking about? What exactly do you do for your Uncle Polly anyway? <sighs> um... I'm a contract killer. I, uh... kill people for the Franchetti crime family. I meant to tell you. I just didn't know how, baby. What? Are you nuts? You are nuts. This is just like you, Jackie. There's something else wrong and you're hiding it with some kind of weird ass story you just made up. Hey, come on. It's your birthday and I've got a new apartment. Let's take one day off from fucked up. Your friend Butcher came by today. He wanted you to call him when you could. I wrote the number on the notepad by the phone. Come on, sit here for a while, Jackie. And watch some TV with me. Jackie, what is it? Jenny? Yeah? Nothing. My TV, my remote. Mm. Are you cold, Jackie? God, it's freezing in here.
good having you here. It's kind of calming. <sighs> I'm always calm when you're here. I can feel your heartbeat. Situation. And by nightfall, you better come and see me. Frost into sweat and sweet Where are you? I heard through the grapevine you were at the Olive Grove. Yeah. And let me tell you something. It's a good thing your Aunt Sarah's out of town. The Olive Grove is right next to her apartment, and this has been one messy afternoon. Now you get yourself over here, but tread lightly. I've got my share of shit for tonight, okay? Hey, leave the goons to me. Now listen, Butch. Things are happening. I'm about to get my ass handed to me by a very nasty scumbag whose name rhymes with Paulie Franchetti. Okay, now I want you to notice. I do this only for you because of who your father was and because you've always shown respect to your family. Now listen, you go through Doyer's alley across from Jenny's apartment. I got my car parked there. You make sure no one sees you. I'll leave the back door entrance to the kitchen open. You got that? Just kind of, I think maybe, uh, next time Mr. Cunningham comes, you better not call me. Well, I thought you'd want to thank him. Oh, I do. I think it embarrasses him to be thanked. Thank you. 